Pleasant morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Spirit. I am Colleen. Today, I will be talking about the riches of life. Do you consider yourself poor, rich, or maybe in between a middle-class citizen? <laughs> Betty, we were thinking I was talking about money, weren't you? Well, no, not really. Although money plays a big part in how affluent we can become, I was really talking about the richness of spirit, self-esteem, health, and your body, all the things that money cannot buy. The true richness of life comes from what is in your soul and how you live. I'm going to make reference from an article I read by Darcy Benincosta. And she states that there are 12 truest riches in life. Now, Darcy Benincosa is an industry leader in marketing, mindset, motivation for creative entrepreneurs. She thinks that the riches in life comes from 12 things. Number one, your mindset first. Having a positive mindset is the heart or the beginning of all riches. Is your mindset one of gratitude, wealth, abundance, love, worthiness, curiosity, intelligence, and solution-based? Or is it one of victimhood, blame, negativity, poverty, and problems? It's always your choice, how you think. And this truly determines your wealth. So think wisely. Number two, it's your health. Your mind must think in terms of health and not illness. You must try to be physically active in some way. Just go for a walk, do some gardening, go for a swim. Just do something to keep the body moving. Never think you cannot do it because unhealthy thoughts will kill you. Number three, having loving relationships. The most important loving relationship you must have is, of course, the one you have with yourself. From there, all love flows to our friendship, partnership, and family. These are the great wealth in our lives. Number four, live free of fear. Fear of failure, fear of what other people think, fear of not having enough. Just, you know, these are just to name a few because you have a lot of fears in life. True wealth is being free of fear. Number five, your dreams and achievements. You are rich when you see your highest potential. Connect with your highest self and put in motion your dreams to achieve what you desire. So, dare to dream and go after it. Number six, a job you love. Most of us spend at least a third of our lives working. To be truly wealthy, we have to love what we do. When you love your job, you go the extra mile and serve better. Serve more. It will always come back to you. Number seven, have faith. Faith connects us to our highest self, our creative intelligence, and to source. Having faith is an alchemy of wealth. Number eight, Having an open mind. When you have an open mind, you're able to attain true education and see another person's point of view. A wealth of knowledge is 
true wealth. Number nine, sharing with others. True wealth is happiness and happiness comes from sharing. Sharing is one of life's greatest riches. Let's share with someone today. Number 10, self-discipline. When you learn to master yourself, your habits, your thoughts, and the commitments, you can't help but be successful and gain real wealth. So people, be humble. Number 11, the capacity to understand people. This is the foundation of friendship, really. Understanding others and also understanding yourself. Lends, it leads to harmony, friendship, and resolution. When you seek on to understand others, it is because you have already understand yourself. You have mastered your emotions. You approach life as an adult, evolving through the years of life. Number 12, and this is the final point. It is their financial security. Now, this is at the bottom of the list as it is the least of importance. Yes, in this world, it is needed as a means of exchange. We know that. But without the other 11 riches that I spoke about, you would still be poor. So my question to you today is, what's the key to true wealth that you have found in your life? Do you resonate with any of the 12 keys I have shared today. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a blessed and well.